Hello everybody, welcome to my channel. This is going to be a reading for Scorpio, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is you and them and the energy in between. Please remember to take what resonates and leave the rest. Let's see what's going on here. We have somebody on a journey. Ooh. We have courtship in the middle and bad health. Thief on the bottom. Which deck am I using? Okay, we're going to do past, present, and future. Like I said, somebody's not doing too well right now. And you're on a new journey, Scorpio. They are coming in to court you. But somebody's not doing too good. One of these people is not in very good health. We'll find out which one. Maybe both of you. Okay, that makes sense. It looks like this person is the one that's not doing well. And you're about to travel to them. With the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups. You're about to go give somebody some serious truth. Or find out the truth. This person just got some bad news. You could be the one in bad health. This person just got bad news. Tower. About a conflict with someone they love. There you are, Scorpio. So this could very well be you on this side. This is somebody that you love. I think you just found out they're not doing so good. What's this bad health in the middle here, spirit? What's the bad health in the middle? These are the kippers. Okay. Somebody's definitely going to travel to someone else because they're not doing so good. You know, I started today with a really positive attitude, just ready to give y'all some great news and, you know, try. <laughs> oh, man. I'm uh, sorry. I don't mean to be a, a negative Nancy. I, I, really, I really came into these readings today with a positive attitude and ready to do some happy readings. Four of Swords. Somebody's afraid it's too late to heal something because this person is dying. They're waiting. And I feel like this person is trying to get to them before it happens. This person is dying. There's money involved. There's definitely healing that needs to take place here with this Four of Swords. Somebody's afraid to speak up. But this person is dying. Speak up. Regardless if, if it's all about money or whatever, there's love here. And someone that you love or someone that loves you is coming to try to heal this before it's too late. Let's see what the Six of Swords, the Ace of Swords, and the Three of Cups is about. Once they're gone, they're gone. We have a Cancer 
We have somebody working on generational wealth here. Somebody might have just gotten a new car. That's how they're traveling because I see, I see somebody traveling not necessarily by car though by. No, this is this is over water, or this is like at least a thousand miles away. So they're gonna have to take some kind of other transportation to get to this person. But there's a lot of money involved here. Generational wealth, ten of pentacles. This is huge. Could be a cancer that you're dealing with. So far, I've got Scorpio and Cancer on the board. That's all I got. I mean, for major arcanas. And Cancer is all about the family, the home, the mother of the Zodiac. What is this tower moment? This conflict with this person of interest? Fortune spinning, guys. Okay, now we have Virgo here. This person did everything that they could. They might have did it a little too quickly or tried to try to do it too fast but because there is a pending death involved somebody needs to hurry up and manifest this four of wands marriage home family all that with the ten of Pentacles this person's about to pass away so they need this healing to happen. And Scorpio, you know. You know about it. You know about it. If it's not you, you know about it. Let's see. Healing the inner child, healing the past is the middle of the read. You could be dealing with Sagittarius or Libra because now we have the Empress, the Page of Swords, and Temperance. This is a mother. This mother might be passing away. And somebody's paying an awful lot of attention to it. But balance needs to be restored balance between this mother and possibly her children with the three of cups here and the knight of wands I feel like these are not children children these are grown children and a mother who's about to pass away and leave them some money Family dynamic needs to be healed, guys. It needs to be healed. Even if... Give this person their peace. If this is you, give this person their peace. Let them know that they are loved before they pass away. Don't just go there for the money. I don't know if this is you and I don't know if it's the other person. I don't know who this is. All I know is that this person's running out of time. And they're trying to manifest you back into their life. Could just be an older person. Doesn't have to be a mom. But I feel that pretty strongly. Options. Choices. Illusions. Um...
Scorpio, I feel like this is you over here. I don't feel like this is you. Because this person feels like they're a user. They see pretty things. They think material things are more important than love. And they're getting back what they gave. On this side, we have somebody who is being fair about something that's coming full circle. They know it's going to be a fight. They know there's going to be some conflict here. They're trying to be fair to everyone. But their world is coming to an end. And it's going to happen fast. In the middle for this, we have hope. We have a wish. And someone's afraid. They're not going to get it. They just want love. I feel like that's all this person ever wanted was love. And the other person doesn't care about anything but money. Just saying. It's the only reason why they're coming forward. It's the only reason. That's... That's pretty bad. I'm sorry. You know, man, this family stuff starting, starting to trigger me now. I mean, the last video I did, I ended up in tears because there's so much importance put on money and things and surviving and people are getting left behind. In this case, it's a mother that's dying. And she's about to leave a lot of money to her children, I think. And that's the only reason why they're coming. It's the only reason why they're coming. Like I said, I wanted to I wanted to do positive readings today. What the hell happened? All right. Queen of Wands, Page of Swords. Now I'm not saying this mother is perfect because there's a devil here. And we got a mother twice. Um Nine of Pentacles. This mother could have been on her own, done all this herself, built this kingdom or this established this kind of uh, empire. That's what I was looking for. All by herself, with no help. This Queen of Wands is just waiting, watching. For their wish to come true. So there's definitely healing taking place here. Like I said, this is, it could be some other kind of relationship, but I feel with the Ten of, now the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles, this is definitely a family situation. And somebody's about to inherit a kingdom.
this ma mother or this person on this side may have addictions, may have been a heavy drinker, okay? But they sincerely apologize for their behavior. They know it was wrong. Like I said, this is the devil energy. It's addictions. It is codependency. They know what they did was wrong. That's what caused them to self-sabotage physically. And they just worked and worked and worked until they couldn't go no more. Because they felt like they could never do enough. There was... This mother was toxic. I'm not gonna lie. She was toxic. She affected these people. Could be up to three people. In a way that cost her her relationship with these people. Working together. But this person is dying now. Nine of Wands, Three of Potions, Three of Cups, and the Empress once again. This Empress is done. She is very, very, very sorry. With this Nine of Wands, she's down to the bare bone. She's nothing of what she used to be. She just wants her Three of Cups back just wants her kids back <laughs> even if it's just to say goodbye alright no matter what it's still your mom alright she just wants to say goodbye there are no hidden motives here she's about to leave you a fortune if, if this is you the least you can do is say goodbye and tell her you love her. Or at least give her that comfort in death. Alright. Damn. Choking up on this one too, guys. This is awful. Not, it's not awful because it's trying to bring family together. Especially in the face of death. There's the addiction card. Codependent, obsession, palm tree, stability, security, permanence, growth, endurance, and flexibility. These people see this person as an addict. They don't see them as a person. Sorry, guys. No matter what this person's done, you're still a person, okay? You don't just throw them away. They still have feelings. They still feel pain. Which probably causes their addiction. This person, no matter what's been done, is welcoming you back into their life. No matter what's been said or done here. It's okay to stop the pattern. It's okay. But silent treatment and abandonment That needs to be healed because this person's gonna grow to their grave <laughs> feeling that nobody cared. Nobody cared enough to even try to help them.
sociopath, narcissist paradigm. Being charmed or used, enable and boundaries. Meeting someone new, dating, getting back out there, plan instead of date. Heartbreak, pain. Don't do this. If this is you, don't do this. If this is them, I understand. But this person is dying. And they're still human. Even if you hate them down to their last day. Show, show mercy in this situation. Show mercy. Because this is over for this person. They ain't coming back. There's not enough self-sabotage, fear, ego, and jealousy. Don't let that stand in your way, please. Because, like I said, this is an empath and narcissist paradigm. The mother might have been a narcissist. She didn't even know what the word meant, probably. But she created an empire to leave for another person. So they could go out in their life and start over. Do not abandon this. Whoever you are. This is a healing that needs to take place for both of you. For all of you. All of you need to heal this. All of you need to cut out the past. Time to stop enabling. Put up the boundaries. Stop the pattern. Because I feel like this has happened through generations. And somebody needs to make it stop. Sorry. I didn't mean to lose it there, but damn. Man, it's an emotional day. What is going on in the sky? I have to check because, like I said, I came into these readings today with a positive attitude, ready to, you know, give some good news out. And so far, I've done two readings that have made me cry. Okay. So on the bottom, we have the Nine of Summer. Wishes coming true, dreams fulfilled, and a magical time of life. Yes. It is magical when people can come together and heal. Especially since this person, like I said... Even though they were maybe an addict, a narcissist, they couldn't, they might have not have been the best person in the world, but they're still a person. They still love you enough to leave you everything that they have. Please take that into consideration. They wouldn't leave it to you, they'd give it charity if they didn't love you. Set aside your concerns for now. You can make a decision later. Solutions that come from meditation, the need for more sleep or a vacation. Take a vacation. Go see this person before it's too late. I didn't go see my dad before he died and he asked me to because of my own uh my own feelings of abandonment, my own feelings of, of disdain. And I regret it. I do. He had something to say, and I wasn't willing to hear it. He didn't leave me any money, but still, I wasn't willing to hear it, and I regret that. Don't regret that. Cautions, but wise 
action, miraculous attention to detail, and kindness to others. Dependable, protective, chivalrous, and humorous. Prince of Autumn. So this person, even though they're broken beyond belief with uh, you know, what they've done, because they did it, they can't blame nobody but themselves for this. But they're about to grace somebody else with a whole life. Out of kindness, out of forgiveness. And to protect who they love. That's worth at least stopping by and saying goodbye. At the very least. Be practical with respect to how you proceed. The ability to make anything more beautiful. Meeting somebody that can help your dreams come true. meeting with somebody that can help your dreams come true because I feel like this was a relationship that was left behind for many many years and it needs to be revisited but be practical on how you proceed I'm not saying this person is perfect that you should just jump right in and do whatever they say. No. This person is dying. They want your forgiveness. They want to tell you they love you. At least, you know, give them that. Because they're getting ready to bless you with a whole lot of money and a whole new life. Okay? Like I said, I don't know who this is for, if it's for you or if it's for a cross watcher. But please take what resonates and leave the rest behind. And remember to like, subscribe, and share if, if you like this video. Till then, stay safe, stay well, take care.